more 17 and that man give me some foot lick you see me? me I do my best for defend myself and I lick him or whatever at the same time I don't want to fight because this man bigger than me you know anyway he beat me up on thing I have some foot bruise on my body you see the next morning I wake up I think I said something to him I, I said something disrespectful to him again me being me and him rush me and when him rush me I run go outside for one big stone you see it You ready? You ready? Let me just start. Oh, you did homeless. Well, long story short, me, Kimani White, was a very rebellious youth. I'm not coming here to bash anybody. You see me? I'm not coming here to lie. I never did really know my mother like that, if you understand. Let me explain. My mother left the country when I was three and she came back when I was 12. So, when she just come back, at the time they may, like, start talk to her, you know? like, duh, like, we have a relationship now, like, we are trying to build a relationship and whatever, we are trying to understand each other. We only ever spoke on the phone, you know, till me at 12, 13. Well, fast forward to me, me in about, you know, grade 9, grade 10, mother meet this guy, and me just did feel threatened by the guy, because, you know, Looking back at it now, I feel like he did like a take my mother or, I don't know, some childish shit. Me and the guy, which is not my stepfather, because them there. My the personality always a clash. Like, we always a argue and me was never the nicest. I always a find some cheeky way for disrespect him and like, mommy just end up get caught up in the middle of that. First time I get kicked out, some some did happen like him did lose a memory card or it was like 2016 or he must even lose something and him end up blaming it upon me anyways me being me at the time me i got argue with him because i never did like him you know me did, me did rebellious you know we end up arguing like he must have chop me and me must have chuck him i don't remember it's a long time ago and him end up say yo him now gonna stay in here with me so him tell me say him tell me say i gonna tell my mother say him I gonna leave because him can't stay in the house with me. Anyways, when I'm gonna tell my mother that now, I was sleeping when she came and she fling one lotion buckle. When I gotta ever forget this, the lotion did fall in her brother. <laughs> my mother, my mother took the lotion buckle and fling it. You see me? Cause you know, him thinks say I'm me. Anyways, if y'all watch this, I'ma know y'all watch this. Um, cause he's still my stepfather right now. I have nothing against it, brother. I'm grown. Nothing at all. I have against it. I never did me the thief and memory card. I didn't steal it. You misplaced it. Yeah, just didn't want to say that. Anyway, um, I'm going to be transparent. I'm going to hide nothing. Plus, I'm going to make money after that video. So, my stepdad, him did really help my mother financially. Him did, them did move in together and, you know, them did live like a couple. Mommy did play her part, him a play theme part, you understand? So they live like a couple. So when him go say yo, him can't live in that house with me. Mommy automatically like kick me out. But I think she tell me for pack my things in the garbage bag. Or she did it. I remember but I don't remember the exact details. But you now garbage bag involved. I'm a close end up going there. I'm a close end up outside. And yes, them for one. That's the night I lost my virginity. <laughs> So, well, I'm drinking some water. Come out, I get dry. You know, I never make the situation better. I make it worse by arguing, you know? So, mommy now, i go tell mommy, say, he can't stay with me. Mommy get vexed. Kick me out. I think that was the first time. Tom. I can't freaking remember, but it's a long time ago. Anyway, my friend them, I said, John, no, and I end up stay over one of my friend them house. Mommy never know me there. Is it? And I made sure that she didn't know because, like, what the fuck, dog? She kicked me out. Anyway, the man them when me that stay with said, John, no, get a girl, is it? But them time they, they never know say me a virgin, is it? Me they tell the man say yo me a walk and anyway bring me the girl and have sex. I'm a little virgin, yeah. Oh, me end up go back into the house. Was I was like 
at the friend's place for about, wow, it was a long, it was like three or four days. And then I say, yo, like, you can't stay in a long time, dog, you have to go to your yard. But I say, mother kicked me out. She didn't text me, she didn't call me, she didn't call me, nothing. Anyways, them came and got the police station. I was 17 at the time, so long story short, we got the police station and they ended up carrying me back and them asked, the police them asked my stepfather, because him did answer the door when the police them knocked. Police them asked my stepfather if if he know me and him say yes. The way him answered, he was like, look, <laughs> man, man look on the police and say yes. Let me get to where I got kicked out fully, fully, fully now. So, long story short, the stepfather and my mother end up by a house together. New Arbor Village Tree. Um, oh shit, I shouldn't tell you my ad the address. <laughs> they buy a house at New Arbor Village in Old Arbor. That's a gated community. All of the houses look alike. You see me? I still being rebellious, meaning get kicked out, but then I end up go back in and. When I say rebellious, meaning I'm disrespectful to both my mother and my stepfather. You understand? Like thinking back at it, no. It, it was just all stupid and uncalled for like if i had the brain i had no like the brain i have now if i could just put in my younger self because like all them things there and come never need for disrespect nobody it's just i just made it feel threatened but i was just like a kid you know man on a sense anyway then buy the house now and how many get kicked out again was made it come home from work made have a part-time job where my mother did get me I walk in, I say good evening to nobody, take off my shoes and then walk out. And I went to the park. That was like about 5.30. Coming back around 7 o'clock now because a night I come and, you know, I still want some fresh air. Go back, I, I go towards my house and I realize, say, mother I come out and my stepfather I come out and my little sister I come out and then I lock up the house. You see, so them, so them, mother come to me and say, where did you go? And I say, I just got to the park. And then I think my stepfather I say, I told him that I say, yo, my nana man has come come in and I say good evening and them I leave now and me have to go wait outside till them come back. So them lock up the house and say, yo, me have to wait till them come back. I had to wait on the veranda. And uh, I don't know, it was like two or I wait out there like two or two two to three hours. Nothing more than that, nothing less than that. I wait out there and then finally come back now and then pull the door and my little sister get, um, go inside and my mother and my stepfather was outside talking to their friends so the door opened and I said me did basically for punishment for leave and never said none so then they met me outside so when she pulled the door my little sister went inside I went inside also and just jumping on my bed because me outside long I wait you know come here for punishment or whatever my mother did walk in and say, who told you to go inside? I Man, I can't forget them story, brother. Like, this is, this is, <laughs> my mother walk in and say, who told you to go inside? You see me? She basically, tell me come out. Me being me, so I now come out. Like, yet I done did outside already. One more punishment they want to give me. You understand? My stepfather must walk in and say, I'll take him out or something like that. And when mommy realized that we end up, did I go get physical? Shh. She just hold on for me and I must say, ah, oh, I'll come out, is it? And she put me outside again. Then end up going inside, lock the door. Me and knock on the door and my stepfather, I say, yo, stop beating on the door because I'm at your place. And then my mother opened the door and she hit me in my face. Yeah, she hit my face. Yeah, I end up can go in again. Next couple of days after that, like, I tell say, me just did always like, disrespect them. My mother would have. I want to punish me and I not listen to our punishment them. My mother must say I'm going to stand up in one corner. Them time I was 17. You know? All right, yeah, my mother said I'm going to stand up in one corner. I walk and go in my room. Then my stepfather would have... My stepfather would have come into the room and like him want to put me back in the corner. So we'd have get physical. But I can't beat him. That the man there. At the time, him, him tall and him like 5'11", I think. Him did beat me up. I was 17 and that man gave me some fuck lick. You see me? Me, I do my best for defend myself and I lick him and whatever. At the same time, I don't want to fight because this man bigger than me, you know? Anyway, he beat me up on thing. I have some fuck bruise on my body, you see? The next morning I wake up, I think I said something to him. 
I, I said something disrespectful to him again me being me and him rush me and when him rush me I run go outside for one big stone you see I go work the morning and when I come home from work I end up going to the police station because I tell myself I'm not going to be no beating stick for this man I'm going to make this man have me as a beating stick so I go to the station and report it them see my bruises and whatever and them put him in a handcuff and mother start ball and sister start ball so me start feel guilty now and tell the police them say I'm not about to press charges or whatever because me tell them I have some bros for my body you know, man. when I reach home now the next morning I see my mother pop my stuff and I pop my stuff and tell me say I can't stay at the house and she can't go my auntie. The story is going to be long as fuck. I got my auntie house now, but my auntie didn't weird. Like she did have padlocks on her fridge, padlocks on her bathroom door, and actual padlocks. Like you know, they latch them, and then she have the padlock them on like the kitchen cupboards. So if you want nothing, like if you want drink water anything, you have to ask her. If you want is the bathroom. My auntie not financially stable. So, when I went there, I was like a burden to her. So, every encounter we had, it was miserable, brother. Like, I wasn't even allowed to bathe in her bathroom. She, I, she made me bathe outside. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, auntie. Yo, she made me bathe outside. and Like, I only ate once a day when I was over there. And I ate out of this small fucking small ass dish and on Fridays she don't cook so on Fridays I wouldn't eat when I was living there I was skinny I end up I end up get lock up because my phone did end up mash up and I decide to say I go grab somebody phone or whatever I people me apart start putting their mental thing on me anyway um, my phone it get mash up and I decide to say I go New Kingston there's a fucking police station in New Kingston. Anyways, my box on woman and grab her phone. I apologize. Me get lock up feed. CMD, police run me down. Police, me not even know the police station there in a New Kingston. What? Police them beat me up and people in my ball for me say, look how him handsome. When I do rare. <laughs> Yo, me get some box from police, brother. So then beat me up now and end up getting locked up. I get locked up for three months. So I got a med care for three months. I get stabbed in this and I get stabbed my fight. In this I learn for fight. Like them, them the, 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 the youth them, the bucket angle them. Them, 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 them brought the bucket angle off and them sham me up on the wall and them stab you and in this are pure violence. Pure violence. You have to dog eat dog in this brother. You have to in this here. Channel. I have to rush through the story because I will leave. I end up starting to talk back to my mother because she kicked me out when I stayed with my auntie. I tell her that my auntie had given me away, she didn't feed me, and she didn't be in the house, whatever, whatever. But I never believed me. Um, so I never talked to her. So I get locked up now. She was the only person allowed to visit me. Other people tried to, but they couldn't come in because they were my family member. So yeah, mommy visit me now and start talking back to her. She bring me clothes and underpants. So I'm not half up. I have them underpants are from 2017. Look, them all have tier 9. Look. I keep them for remind me. People say, for when you come out of jail and you have your underpants, you have to burn them. But one minutes to people and two, I'm my own man. And I keep them for remind me. I keep them for remind me where I come from. Things I'm going to go through. So my mother bring me them underpants in a jail. And I still have them. It's crazy. I come out July the 8th. That's my birthday. I got court four times. And I come out July the 8th. Finally set free. On my birthday, I cried like a bitch. Anyway, I never did get to live with my mother again. Um, that rent place for me. So she rent this place for me, Stony Hill. I end up had to move. And then she rent this other place to me. Move got put me move got put me by myself. Mommy did not pay the rent. But she had a falling out with the landlord. And this is how I know. Because I heard her on a phone call. That's how I know. But my mother tell me, say, the reason why I had to move from the place that she was renting for me. Because I play the PUBG too loud. That's why they want me out. Okay. Couple days after, I never leave. 
I stay in the house, even though the stem have to leave. I never have enough to go. Plus, I never made a pay the rent. I never did that work. I had a call center job, but I got fired. A couple of days after, she tell JPS to cut off the light for me. Do you remember that? <laughs> so, they cut off the light on me because, you know, mommy want me out. So, she tell them to cut off the light for me. And uh, I didn't have any food. She stopped, like, supplying me with food. And I didn't have any light in the house. I had water in the house, though. Longest I went without eating was four days. Yo, that at your fuck. <laughs> I was still in the house, you know, but there was no light and I didn't have any food. Mommy now decided to come for me and for me to get my stuff. And she come and will pack up the stuff in some garbage bag again. Like my clothes been in garbage bags for years, brother. <laughs> Pop my stuff in garbage bags and she bring me to half a tree and ask me where are you going to go? You see me? I look at him like, I don't know. I'm looking at him and I know just left all my things and left all my clothes in half a tree and I'm going to find something to go. Them time I you know, I just started the YouTube but I never get paid. Probably about 4,000 subscribers. The first night upon the road, I sleep at Limelight. The first night. Limelight in half a tree. This was probably like a year ago. No, first time I get put up was when I was 17, is it? But my mother had rent place to me till she end up stopping. You no, know? because she always tell me, say, Oh, yeah, 18 or whatever, whatever, whatever. First night, now I have no to sleep. Some sleep at limelight. My bridging when I'm Brian, I'm cell phone off a tree. Yo, turn on dog. Watch it. Yeah, what I come here. Big one thing, big one thing. Brian, link me and say, Yo. Like, you can't stay in my place, but you can't sleep there. And. And in the, in the morning, I have to leave. Um, but, uh, um, forget them things, dog. I can't tell the story. I joke this. So, you think I never mean for this? I just think. And I think, oh. That's weird. <laughs> and I cry me, I cry me, I reminisce about the past. <laughs> Let me tell you the story accordingly. I'm not gonna fuck it up. I need to stop by like a big pussy girl. <laughs> I've cut all the way of this car, man. I cry for a camera with a water dog. Brian say, yo, can't sleep on place, but yo. Yeah, for leave and mine and that was the routine. Some end up I got brand us. His name Max Feel or something like that. So. Max Feel, yeah. Like a like a unfinished like building like like some of them are built but them not done. You understand? Man say yo, I can't sleep there and it's cutting at the morning. Boom bang bang. That was the routine for like a good while. Till somebody end up catch me in there and the landlord go find out and then they kick me out but then. One of the girls who live there, they have sympathy for me, you see? Me always being invisible. Nobody don't know if I'm there or not, you see? Me don't make my YouTube video them same way. Me don't make my YouTube video them. So I lived there for like, I don't know, like three, four months. Still making my YouTube videos. Now I've known for living in a people yard me there. And we're not even supposed to do there. Still I make the video them, still I go up on the road. Still I post every week. But the term in better for come out of this. Like what? Anyway, the man end up get fed up and say, yo, he want me leave because he didn't want money from me, but at the time I never did have no money. I never did that collect no money from YouTube. He didn't want money from me. Even though I not even stay in the actual house them, I stay in an unfinished building, it not even did have part of the roof did gone. And God. Ask Brian. <laughs> I end up Come out and part one youth. Leave not call him now, cause I'm not talk now. But me that part of the youth and him the when me get kicked out from this so, like when the man say yo me have to leave cause I not give him the money, the youth that me that part with, him did say yo me can't stay I'm grandfather. Me end up can't stay I'm grandfather and 
him grandfather, you don't know, want money from me. And like him grandfather want me to be like want him grandfather want me for, for earn me him grandfather always say you have to earn your keep if you want to stay. So like him want me for clean him room and clean him bathroom and you know, like cause I live there want me to do them thing there. I'm never really comfortable with that. You see, I do what I could have to stay because I never have no one to go and I never did have no money. Anyway, the, the youth of me that parent, like, him always a snap me and him always a... You know, the man never frighten over people. He always a snap me and a post on him Instagram. Up till this day when I talk, I'm going to him Instagram story and in, in I'm highlights them. If you look at highlights them, I'm me alone in Agassi. I'm in the youth and talk. Anyway, me and him got have an argument. This happened. This am about, about eight, nine, ten months well. We have an argument and me must go tell him say yo like me don't want to deal with him. Him go tell him grandfather to kick me out, come tell him that. <laughs> so after him kick me out now, I end up going with my next friend. I have a G dog, Jav never asked me for nothing. Yo, right now I need to go to Jav, y'all give me five grand. Boom, but I need to go to Jav. My mother always cook give me and you know, but them tiny. I collect from YouTube, you see, like, I just start collecting now and me did them place there, all Italia would come come link me and make sure I'm alright when me just stay with Brian Italia bring food come give me and so big up Italia <laughs> till me end up can't stay this anymore because the room I just stay in was somebody room and the person did come back me, me, that, me that YouTube money now, I start, start collect so end up can't rent. Like my work, even though I never did like really have nowhere to stay. I did work on the YouTube and I try 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 and I try. Like if you watch my previous video you will see where I had to verify my address. I didn't live anywhere. Like YouTube wanted me to verify my address. I didn't live anywhere bro. Like how would I verify my address? You know? I had to use somebody else's address. I, I use Italia address. Italia address me use, I'm a verified. You're currently up to speed right now. This is where I am. The, the, the moment of the story, the point in my life. You're currently in my room, guys. It's currently a mess. But my YouTube. Hold on, let me see if I can give you like a. I don't know. Maybe I'll wait till. I wait till at night so I can shoot this because I want to share my light them in my room when I install it. Me? So this is how it looks. And you can change the color to green or whatever. But yeah. And then it goes to the right to the balcony. This is my idea I put up as a still car. Because I'm a smart nigga. And this is the balcony. Yeah. But yeah, wait, let me lock off the light and show them. But really beast bow my room like still, but my proud of my room, you know them with it? Yeah. <laughs> and then like my door. My door I'm caution pond it. Make sure you say like, subscribe and watch that. My god, that video way too long better.